hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're just going to do a menu walkthrough talk about the insta360 go 2 if you want to see a video of it in, a, in action click at the top here somewhere and yeah uh, please like and subscribe i've seen 90 percent of the people viewing my videos on subscribe so please subscribe it really helps the channel a lot and also like the videos okay so basically this is the charging case quarter inch connection there for camera tripods selfie sticks usb-c charging port charging light here at the back let's open it up camera here um, it's quite a strong magnet but it's magnetized sits in there uses the case to charge you can see already start charging to connect it we're just gonna press the button same with your phone you have to connect it to the um, case and then you can connect it to your phone and pretty much change these settings as you move along type thing so just gonna run through the settings this is normal video mode 1440 50 frames 16 by 9 uh, linear top is the memory that's available it only has a 32 gig internal memory um, with i think about 28 gig that's usable and i've seen it's not a lot but it works um, and what i really like about this is it makes you record only the, the necessities basically normally you'll just record everything and then spend hours searching through footage cutting away where this is nice because you know you don't have so much space and you can also set your intervals of uh, recording five seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds one minute that type of thing so pretty much there's only two buttons uh this is the scroll through button so we've got video uh pro photo pro video time shift time lapse hdr video slow-mo and then settings so let's quickly go through all of them video is normal video um it if you shoot with this it takes a lot less space but there's not you can't do much with the footage afterwards uh let's go to photo uh yes your photo settings pure shots activated there's a five second delay you can also set that a little bit uh pro video so if you have one of these you want to shoot in pro video pro video lets you uh, kind of frame it up and down a bit afterwards which is very cool you can set your stabilization afterwards obviously um, your different colors and stuff like that uh, time shift is when you pretty much walking with the camera or doing like a type of a time lapse but think of it as a moving time lapse not necessarily standing still and this will also record in 1440 so there's two recording modes in the whole camera 1080 or 1440 so always just go for 1440 also in the pro mode you can also set the screen resolution afterwards to 9 by 16 16 by 9 that type of thing which you cannot do in the normal mode uh, normal mode normal video mode you have to set it yeah and that's that's what it's at you can also set the, the linear wide super view all of those type of angles in pro mode so time shift time lapse is when you stand still and arguments sake, you recording the sky the clouds moving past so camera will be stationary also a couple of things you can set there hdr video i haven't played too much with hdr to be honest it's it becomes very difficult i almost feel like you need a very perfect surrounding situation lighting all of that for hdr video i could be wrong but i've just always done pro mode used a vivid color and it's been been amazing uh slow-mo is very cool i've got a video I'll link at the top here somewhere as well where I did some slow-mo stuff so this records at 1080 at 120 frames per second and then as soon as you pop it into the insta software it will slow it down um, I think about four times five times which <sighs> makes cool videos it makes seriously cool videos and then settings so let's go through settings quickly so we've got wind reduction anti-flicker depending where you are you can set it i'm sure you can see the flicker now a little bit so let's see if we can um 
doesn't want to go away okay uh, to turn off uh, so this will power off automatically in 120 seconds video format I don't think you can change this but as soon as you export your footage out of the Insta software you can choose H.264, H.265 or ProRes 422 I think it is you can set your bitrate um, always on high those are the little lights unlock button language Wi-Fi auto format to format the memory card reset info done so now what we can do let's let's go to pro mode enter pro mode and it's actually starting recording we need to okay so now if we hold in the record button it will pop up like this and then in pro mode yeah we can change the aspect ratio change the quality we want change the frames uh, field of view but also do remember if you shoot in pro mode you can do all of this afterwards color you can't do so I would always pop it on vivid um, unless you're gonna do a lot of color grading afterwards then use log um, this is the record time so it's one minute five minutes ten minutes 15 minutes if you use a FPV drone uh, 30 minutes as well if you use a FPV drone because obviously with flying it keeps the camera cool uh, or 15 seconds oh sorry so there's no five seconds ten seconds it's 15 seconds 30 seconds but I've also seen this is if you just record um, what you want to record this this is plenty of time and then we can say done time shift up oh, need to hold the button in let's just stop that so time shift you can also change some of the settings very similar to the other settings let's just go to camera and then up oh, it's gonna take a photo so yeah we've just got the timer 10 seconds off uh, you want a raw photo on or off raw is very cool can do a lot of editing afterwards done so that's pretty much it and you can also see 100 um, 100 there is the at the top right so this means the camera is fully charged uh, top left is the battery of the case so you can see it's not completely fully charged so and you get you get a good amount of battery but it's always cool having the case for extra battery and also with the case you can hear it vibrating when I closed it's got little tripod legs legs they are they are very flimsy but it's better than nothing let's pop it like that so you can do that as well and like I said quick connect so yeah um, this camera is best for sunny days um, if you're really good with denoising video and stuff you can shoot in low light but I would keep this for sunny days nice summer days those type of things um, I must say the accessories in the box is works it's very cool I made a whole video the other day just using the cap mount and it was awesome it was just awesome not having to carry a camera or have it in your hand um, I still use the box to control it and I just press play close the box and filmed what I wanted to film which was amazing guys thank you for watching um, please subscribe really need you guys to subscribe there's some cool content on the way Thank you for watching.